Hello and welcome back to our course on Dreamweaver CC. In the previous section we did a bit of work on formatting this first web page and this section is actually setting exercise 1 on the course. Now exercise 1 is I hope pretty straightforward. All I need you to do is to create a second web page and the second web page will just say where this one says welcome to Springs Park the second web page will say new arrivals and this will be a page where we're going to put details of new arrivals by way of wildlife at this wildlife park now you've already seen how to create a new page we're going to look at another way now and this is a Windows PC so we use the keyboard shortcut of control N and that brings up the new document dialog now when you choose a blank page and you choose a page type of HTML so far we've used the none layout which gives you basically a completely visibly empty page if you chose one of these other types of layouts you'd get a page with what appears to be a significant amount of content already in it now in fact the content isn't content as such it's more instructions about how to use that particular type of page let's just have a look at one suppose I chose that option and clicked on create now I get a page with a load of instructions and it's a page with a main section and a sidebar and a space for a logo and so on and if you quickly want to get a more attractive page going this is a great way to set about it but on this course what I'm really going to do is to work up towards this type of layout because particularly if you looked at the code for this page you'd see there's actually quite a lot of HTML in it that's going to need a good bit of explanation and it's also got CSS in it as well so we're not leaping straight into that on this course we'll get to that a little bit later on so I'm not going to do that so let's close that one without saving it and let's start another blank one so let's choose layout none again and click on create and when I come to save this page I'm going to save it again in the root of my site but I'm going to give it a different name so I'm going to just give it a name now as save as defaults to the top level of my site and instead of index or untitled 5 I'm going to call it new arrivals .html. now I'd just like to have a word with you about these file names conventionally file names for any pages on a website have been written in lower case and strictly speaking nowadays it's really the case that they have to be in lower case however it is still pretty much the convention that people do stick to lower case and another thing that's very important about file names for web pages is that you don't include certain characters in file names now I can give you a couple of particular examples on a Mac you can put a slash in a file name but that won't be any good to you at all on a website because web servers can't handle a slash in a file name you should also avoid characters in file names such as hash dollar sign ampersand and percent sign each of which have specific meanings some of which you'll see later on in the course you can have spaces in file names but I personally avoid that because that makes URLs awkward in places you have to put in non space characters to represent spaces and so on now the actual rules for these are not a hundred percent consistent but I find and I still stick to the principle that it's much safer to only use alpha characters and numeric characters within a file name and if I do want to separate out part of a file name, so for instance if I wanted to separate new and arrivals I'd normally put an underscore between them something like that but generally speaking I do stick to the lowercase letter principle as well so with that let's click on save and I now have my new page now I'd like you to also create a second page for the website don't worry about the fact that these two pages seem to be completely independent of each other which of course they are at the moment you only need to create the page and then I want you to put something on the page so if you're working along with me on Springs Park you maybe finish up with a page that looks like that if you're working on your own website on the subject of your own choosing 
then just get to the equivalent where you've got two pages each with some slightly formatted content. One other thing to point out when you're working on a number of pages at once which you will be quite often on the file menu one option is save all and if you click on save all it saves all of the pages that you've currently got open. It's a great way of making sure that your work is safe say if you're going off for a cup of coffee or something like that. That's as far as I need you to go in exercise one and as with all of the exercises on this course in the downloadable files there's a set of 12 folders and within each of those folders you'll find the files associated with each of the exercises and normally that content will be all of the content of my local site. Certain other content that you will or might need will be in the top level folder and I'll tell you a little bit more about that when we get to that point. So hopefully if you look in the exercise one folder that's what you're going to see one folder called underscore notes and my two pages and then of course as we go through the course and go through the exercises the amount of content there is going to increase quite a bit. So that's it on exercise one. I'm not at the moment going to upload that to the remote site. We'll do that in just a little while. If you want to do that, by all means, upload the new arrivals page as well to the remote site. In the next section, we're going to look at linking these two pages together. And we're also going to put on one or two pictures. That's the end of this section. Good luck with exercise one. I'll see you in the next section.